Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talk about is and as operators in C sharp, what they are and how we can use them in a program. We'll also see the difference between them. I took this important topic for my today's video as being the basic question. It is the favorite frequently asked question in the C sharp interview. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Is operator in C sharp. What is is operator? The is operator enables us to check whether the runtime type of an expression result is compatible with a given type or not. If the outcome is yes, then it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false as a Boolean error. So definition simply tells us that is operator is simply a compatible type checker. And that's why it is called a type comparison operator. C sub 7.0 onwards, the is operator also tests an expression result against a pattern. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of example over here. So there is an object obj1 that holds the value of a string type Ravi. In next statement, we are using is operator to check whether object obj1 is compatible with a string type or not. So for that, I wrote obj1 is a string. And the outcome we are storing in the boolean variable bln result 1. So in this case, obj1 value is holding of a string data type, so it is compatible. So ideally, boolean result will have the value true as a boolean value. And then I am just using if condition over here. So if condition will check the value of the boolean result 1 and accordingly a statement would get printed into the console window. If it is the true, then this statement would get printed. If it is not true, then else part will get executed. Here in another object, obj2 is having value 1, 2, 3, which is of in data type. And we are checking whether obj2 is compatible with a string data type or not. In our case, this integer value 1, 2, 3 is not compatible with the string. So ideally, Boolean result will have the false value. And that's why you are seeing the output over here, right? So Boolean result 1 is equal to true because this Ravi, which is of the string data type, is compatible with the string. That's what it is printing as a true. Here in obj2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, which is not compatible with the string. And that's what it is coming as a false over here. So here we are going to focus on practical uses of each operator now. Okay. So first practical use is to check the runtime type of an expression. So here int i is equal to 5, object obj is equal to i. So we are just assigning the value of i over here to the object. And this is the nullable int data type. So int nullable obj is equal to 10. And here in if condition, we are checking using this is operator, whether it is compatible or not. So obj is int x and int nullable obj is int y. So if it is compatible, then take the value of x and y and then give the output. So here 5 plus 10 is equal to 15. That's what that output is going to come as a 15. Okay. So that is the first practical use of is operator. Second use is to check for the null. So here some input we are going to receive at the if condition we are going to use is operator to verify whether the input that we have received is null value or not. If it is null, then it is just going to return it. So basically the practical use of is operator, we can check the null value also using this is operator okay number three is c sharp 9.0 onwards a negation pattern can be used to do a non non null check it is not uh, possible in the earlier version but c sharp 9.0 onwards it's possible so we could write something like that if some input is not null if it is not null then go and process some data whatever the business functionality we are going to execute so we can write inside this if condition Okay, so we are going to see all those things in action in Visual Studio. So here we are on Visual Studio. This is nothing but a console application where we have class program inside that there is a main method which is an entry part of this application. And I have written this console.writeN statement to uh, print this statement demo of is operator in C sharp because I'm just giving the demo of the is operator over here, right? So there are two objects obj1 and obj2 obj1 is holding the value of ravi which is of the string data type here obj2 is equal to value 1 2 3 which is of in data type and we are using is operator over here to verify whether obj1 and obj2 is compatible with the string data type or not so in the first case 
because this obj1 is holding the value of rabi which is compatible with the string so boolean result 1 should have the value of the true as a boolean value here 1 2 3 is not compatible with the string so this boolean result 2 should have the value of false over here okay so based on that boolean result 1 and boolean result 2 the console dot right line statement would get executed okay let me execute this and see what boolean result 1 and boolean result 2 are having the value okay so let me go and click this start button this control comes over here this breakpoint so let me go and see the value of boolean result so if you see here boolean result 1 is equal to true it is showing right so ideally this console dot right line statement would go and get executed okay let me go and step over okay so if you see the control came over here so this statement is going to get executed okay now i'm just going to check what is the boolean result 2 is having the value if you go and see over here boolean result 2 is having the false value right so accordingly this console dot right line statement would go and get executed okay let me go and click this continue button okay so if you see output got appear into this console window demo of is operator in c sharp boolean result 1 is equal to true boolean result 2 is equal to false see boolean result 1 is equal to true why it came because this obj1 is having the value of ravi right and here we are going to use obj1 is a string so ravi which is of the string data type is compatible with the string that's what this boolean result 1 is equal to true value is getting printed over here and here 1 2 3 which is not compatible with the string so that's what this boolean result 2 is having the value of false and that's what it got printed into this console as operator in c sharp what is as operator as operator enables us to explicitly convert an expression to a given type if its runtime type is compatible with that type if the conversion isn't possible it returns null it improves the performance and it is safe for casting as well and it is also called a type conversion operator because if it is able to convert the expression to a given type at the runtime if it is found it is compatible with that type it converts then and there otherwise it just return the null value and that's why it is called at a type conversion operator okay let's understand it with the help of example okay there is a class imply and here we are going to create an object of that particular imply class so that's what i have written imply obj imply is equal to new imply and there is an object obj where we are assigning this obj imply and in the next statement a string str is equal to a string obj so basically we are type casting object to the string data type and that's what we have written this type casting operator a string between the parentheses but this obj imply this is a class right which is not a, a string type that's what it will throw system dot invalid cast exception error in that case we want type safe casting so that's what we are going to use as operator here so a string str obj as a string so basically it will check whether this obj that is holding a value of imply object which is compatible with the string data type or not if it is not then it will return the null value it won't throw the system dot invalid cast expression so basically it is going to handle the system dot invalid cast exception and returns the null value let's suppose if we are going to use this obj as imply so basically this as operator identifies okay this obj is compatible with imply so it just convert it right and that's what this imply is going to have the value of imply instance so successfully conversion is happened over here using the as operator so we need to consider two things in mind whenever we are going to use this as operator number one whenever we are going to achieve type safe casting we can use as operator here so we won't get system dot invalid cast exception it will handle it instead of throwing the exception it will return as a null value so now huge case of edge operator to avoid exception handling checking for null values will generate much less overhead than throwing exception so basically this edge operator handles this exception and it returns the null value it's so it's very much easy to check the null value instead of you know throwing the exception and that's what as operator is very useful in that scenario okay so here we are in visual studio here we are going to see the demo of the as operator in c sharp okay so 
there is an imply class that has two attributes id and name okay and there is another class program where we have this main method where we are just going to use this console.tryClient statement to see the demo of the as operator in c sharp okay so in try block i have instantiated this imply object okay and then i'm just assigned this imply object obj imply to the object obj okay and in the next statement i'm just going to use this type casting operator right where we are just going to type cast from obj to a string right and that's what we have written this type cast operator over here okay so ideally it should throw the error because this obj that holds the obj imply instance that is not compatible with the string so it should throw the system dot invalid cast exception and that's what this statement console dot write line where we are just printing this str it won't get executed so it so when this exception would occur then it will just go to the catch block and this exception would get printed into this console window okay so let me execute this program and see the output okay so this output got appearing to this console window demo of as operator in c sharp and this is the exception system dot invalid cast exception unable to cast object of is versus as demo imply to type system dot string because the type is not compatible so it is giving us this error system dot invalid cast exception how we can avoid this error so that's where this as operator comes into the picture okay so let me do one thing let me comment this line okay and now i'm just going to use as operator over here so let me write here a string str okay is equal to and then i'm just going to write obj as which data type i'm just going to convert it into the string right so right now i have written as operator to explicitly convert to object to the string if it is not explicitly converted ideally it should handle this system dot invalid cast exception error and will give us as a null value and if it is the null value then we are checking str is equal to null then this statement would get printed otherwise this statement okay so let me execute this and see the output okay so output got appearing to this console window and you are able to see str is having the null value. okay so here basically i just commented this line a string str is equal to obj string and here i'm just going to convert obj as imply and storing the value in, into the e2 instance okay if e2 value is having the null value then this statement would get printed console dot write line e2 is having the null value otherwise if it is not null value then this statement would get printed conversion with as operator successfully happened okay let me execute this and see the output okay output got appear into this console window conversion with as operator successfully happened difference between in and as operator difference between in and as operator in c sharp so is operator is also known as type comparison operator whereas as operator is type conversion operator is operator job is to check whether the run type type of an expression result is compatible with the given type or not if the answer is yes then it returns true otherwise it returns the false as a boolean value whereas as operator explicitly convert an expression to a given type if its run type type is compatible with that type if the conversion isn't possible it returns the null value okay practical uses of each operator basically we are going to check the run type type one of expression and if there is a need to check the null value we can also do that with the help of is operator to do a non null check with a negation pattern we can do it c sub 9.0 onwards as operator practically uses this to avoid exception handling because checking for the null values will generate much less overhead than throwing the exception yes we have already seen that right benefit it helps us by checking whether the run time of the type is compatible or not and enabling us to make the decision whether we proceed with the type conversion or not okay whereas as it improves the performance and it is safe for casting so that is the benefit associated with the as operator so that brings me to end of my session to sum up in this video we saw what is an as operator in c sharp are and when and how we can use them we also saw the difference between them after knowing these concepts we could take decision in which scenario which one is the best fit for use 
that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video